Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he make it to the God. They fall down, yea, they worship. They bear him upon the shoulder. They carry him and set him in his place. And he standeth from his place shall he not remove. Yea, one shall cry unto him. Yet can he not answer, nor save him out of his trouble. Remember this, and shew yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old. For I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Calling a ravenous bird from the east. The man that executed my counsel from a far country, yea, I have spoken it, and I will also bring it to pass. I have purposed it, I will also do it. Hearken unto me, ye stout-hearted, that are far from righteousness. I bring near my righteousness, it shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion, for Israel my glory. Chapter 47 Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people, I had polluted mine inheritance, and given them into thine hand. Thou didst shew them no mercy, upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given the pleasures, that dwellest carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. I shall, sit as, I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the loss of children. For these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for thy great abundance of thine enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am, and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up. And save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Behold, they shall be as stubble. The fire shall burn them. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored. Even thy merchants from thy youth, they shall wander every one to his quarter. None shall save thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, in our regular reading, hallelujah, hallelujah. In our regular reading, we're on, we're still on the book of Job, and today we're on chapter 8. How long will you talk? And this here is Bildad that is speaking. He's speaking to Job now. Job spoke yesterday. Bildad is speaking to Job today. How long will you talk? Chapter 8 of Job. Bildad from Shua said, How long will you talk and keep saying nothing? Does God all-powerful stand in the way of justice? He made your children pay for their sins. So why don't you turn to him and start living right? Then he will decide to rescue and store, restore you to your place of honor. Your future will be brighter by far than your past. Our ancestors were wise, so learn from them. Our own time has been short, like a fading shadow, and we know very little. But they will instruct you with great understanding. Papyrus reeds grow healthy only in a swamp. 
And if the water dries up, they die sooner than grass. Such is the hopeless future of all who turn from God and trust in something as frail as a spider's web. They take hold and fall because it's so flimsy. Sinful people are like plants with spreading roots and plenty of sun and water. They wrap their roots tightly around rocks, but once they are pulled up, they have no more place. Their life slips away and other plants grow there. We know God doesn't reject an innocent person or help a sinner if they don't repent. And so we will make you happy if you give and give you something to smile about. He will make you happy and give you something to smile about. But to your evil enemies will he will be put to shame and disappear forever. Amen. Amen. That was, like I said, build that. I'm sure who was talking to Job. And tomorrow, God's willing, we'll be still in the book of Job. We'll be on chapter 9, uh, which is Job replying to Bill that what you say is true. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Father God loves you more. Sorry that the video cut off and we had to go on and start another one. But nonetheless, we, we, we keep on moving. We don't let anything stop us. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must save lives. We have to convert others to Jesus Christ. He's the way, the truth, and the life. I love you all with the love of the Lord. And Father God loves you more. Please tell your loved ones that you love them today. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. You woke up this morning. You didn't wake up on your own. It's Father God that woke you up. So you give him honor, praise, and glory, and thank him. Thank him, and count your blessings. And tell any and all that will hear you about Father God, who is Jesus Christ in the flesh. Father God is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit came down and begot some body. And that same Holy Spirit dwells within you and I. If we seek him in sincerity and truth, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, you should hear from him. And please don't have fault with anyone. You mustn't have problems with anybody. I don't care who it is, what he or she have done, how long they have done it, you must forgive them. Whatever they have done, you must forgive them. Just as you wish for your Father in heaven to forgive you, you must forgive your fellow man. I don't care who he is. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. I love you all, and Father God loves you more. From youngest to oldest alike, you all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. God bless you. Bye-bye.